Come from my club, they tugging it. They putting up numbers, 99 problems, and I still kept it a hundred. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. They ain't come from my club, they tugging it. They putting up numbers, 99. What is good, people? It is your boy, Laura Williamson, coming back to you with another one. New day, new month, new country, man. We still going hard. We still going strong. Right now, we are in Lima, Peru, man. And I will say I'm completely and utterly shocked. This place is pretty nice, man. It's definitely the vibe is cool. The people are cool. It's my first day here, so I'm still figuring it out. Yeah. It's only my third day out here. I don't Damn. know. We just going to try to get into some stuff, see what we can find out, man. Let's go. I'm staying in the Barranco area. These are kind of like the tourist places where all the gringos stay. Um, definitely a safe place. Um, but from what I've seen, man, uh, the people here are amazing, very nice, uh, very genuine. It looks like a humble city. So right now we are at the Malecon and man, breathtaking views once again, man. This is crazy. Look at this view, man. I'm trying to get to see, show y'all a better view. I'm gonna do what I usually don't do. Y'all know I'm usually cheap when it comes to food, looking for the cheaper food. But today, I think I'm gonna give me some good recommended food, man. So it's probably gonna be out of my budget, but for one day, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? They say it's the food capital of the world, but we're gonna see, man. All right, let's try it out. So much because you have the desert. Almost out of Oh. <laughs> shit, that makes, shit, that make you pussy throb right I, there. I was, I swear I to God. Like, oh, I was just I, about to say my pussy's throbbing. Meat, cooked perfect, pause. Um, rice, great. And I'm gonna let you know how much it is because this is one of the more fancy restaurants. <laughs> All right, man, the food was excellent. Good service, good food. Definitely super expensive. And when I say that, I mean for, for, um, you know, for South America. Definitely super expensive for South America. Uh, I think the total after tip was like $25. Uh, and you can get that in the hood for, you know, five, six dollars, you know. It's definitely like a very busy city. Right now we're walking around. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at, man. impressions off the rip the country is definitely humble uh, Peru and a whole looks humble a lot of working-class people um, on Sundays you can definitely tell it's family day so right now we are on the strip man this is where all the beaches are it goes for miles and miles and miles uh, definitely definitely a dope experience man Peru is definitely uh, something I just wasn't expecting. When I travel to these places, man, it's kind of like sometimes you know what to expect because there's a lot of coverage on certain areas, um, you know, like the Brazils, the Thailands, a lot of coverage on that. 
but places like this where there's not too many tourists and there are still some tourists but i mean like there's not too many tourists that are putting this on youtube vlogging about lima you can still find stuff on manchu Picchu, but uh here it's kind of like an untapped territory but yeah i think it's definitely a dope city um we're gonna check out mira flores and baraco and see what that's looking like tonight man but hopefully we can find something that's off the you know off the path that everybody goes down that beach life is always going to be different man i don't think you can ever beat that beach life yo so i'm walking on the beach and uh a girl just waves me over so we're gonna go see what she's talking about we're gonna go see what she's talking about man hopefully she speaks english wondering what she wants hola amigo como estas hola como estas hola do you speak English? My English is terrible. Uh, I also speak Spanish. I also speak Spanish. When you speak rapidly, I don't understand anything. Oh, okay. How are you? Samantha. Samantha. Sinner. Sinner. Jay. 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 Solo Jay. 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 La playa. La playa, me encanta la playa. Yo soy de la selva. Uh -huh. Y allá hablamos un poquito, así como que cantando, hablamos diferente. Yeah. Así que es fascinante también. Lima también es hermoso por su playa. Ah, Lindo. Right. El con, sol, con mira. Su gente, obviamente. Hey, la comida. Hey, Dios mío. <laughs> me goes out to ga gafas or lentes. ¿Cómo se dice aquí? Lentes. All right, so I had to give you a little rundown on what just happened. Pretty much. Uh, nothing crazy, you know. Another day in the life of the Lord, man. What can we do? All right, so I had to get out of the madness. It was too crazy. It was too loud. I couldn't really tell the story. But pretty much when I was walking, um, like earlier today, I saw a girl and a guy. They both said something. I don't know what they said. They said it in Spanish, but they said something along the lines of, damn, he's fine. I like you, man. You lie a lot. Uh, which is completely correct. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's the extra push-ups that I do uh, that may have attracted the uh, another female specimen that being said you know i kept it moving you know if they ain't addressed me they ain't addressed me you know what i'm saying it wasn't for me so i kept it moving uh i know they wanted me to talk or say something but i kept it moving you know keeping it cordial keeping it chill you know what i'm saying don't be too thirsty About 30 minutes later i was walking down the beach the little road i showed you guys and uh i see her waving she's waving and i'm looking like i don't know who she's talking to i'm looking at her like you looking at me And then she was like, yeah, you, you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, shit. All right, what's good? She was like, hey, come, come over. And she was far, but I could see her. And I was like, man, I ain't going all the way over there. So I asked her. Can you meet you halfway? Right at the borderline is where I'm going away. So she did. She met me halfway. And she was just pretty much on some like, what are you doing here? Like, what's going on? Uh, I don't see too many people like you here. And that just goes to prove there are not a lot of black travelers coming here. Um, and if they do, they be here in and out. Um, and you know, I could be ignorant to the fact, but I haven't seen a lot of uh, black people or people in my community um, tapped into Lima. I do see a lot of people going to Cusco because um, you know that's a obviously a national treasure, a wonder of the world. But uh, yeah, man. So she was just like, "Yo, if you ever need anything, hit me up." Um, I told her I was a YouTuber. She was like, "Yeah, if you ever need anything, just hit me up." Um, I'm happy you're here in my country. How do you like it? And I asked her what her favorite, you know, thing to do here was and all that type of stuff, man. It goes to show you, man, that people are just curious, you know, the unknown. Actually, I was trying to say something deep, but really fucked that one up. I was about to say the unknown are never known until the unknown is benounced. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Nah. That ain't it. The unknown is never known until the unknown show up to the known. Go lay your ass back down and come holler at me tomorrow when you sober. Because you high right now. I will say what I've noticed. Um, there's not a lot of black people here. That being said, you get a lot of looks. Like they know you're not from here, obviously. Uh, and it's not a lot of Afro-Latinas in this area. But they do have an Afro-Latino community. Um, I'm just now figuring that out. They do have an Afro-Latino community. Now, I'm sure you can go to a spot where there's only Afro-Latinos. But this place is 
This place is definitely not it. There's a lot of English speaking people here, so that's good for tourists as well. But uh, yeah, man, dope vibe so far, man. You're gonna hit the nightlife tonight, see what that's like. Right now, I'm gonna show y'all my crib, man. Let me show y'all where I stay. I'm gonna show y'all how much it is. Uh, I definitely splurged this trip. It was a last minute trip, so I couldn't do as much research as I wanted to, but I still got it for a decent price, you know? I always add it up to me paying, what would it be the month, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, in the States, you're looking at anywhere from 800 to 5,000, depending on where you're staying and what city you're in. excuses man I was giving myself all types of excuses why I didn't want to learn how to edit why I thought it was better for somebody else to edit for me you know all types of excuses but once I stopped making those excuses my life changed I'm not saying money wise either because niggas is still broke you're broke you're fucking poor newsflash ladies and gentlemen I'm still broke so y'all can hit that cash app right here if y'all want to donate and support the channel all right so Airbnb is lit I'm getting situated you saw earlier good Airbnb good lighting as you can see you know I'm looking good but today is a day we step out man you know I just got here today so I'm stepping out today I don't even know what to expect I literally decided to come here Probably about 17 hours ago, man. We're in Barranco, and I think I'm saying that right. Super close to Mita Flores. They're right next to each other. And this is the hot spot. So that being said, we're about to step out. We're about to get into it, man. Night one of Lima, Peru. Let's get it. Lord is on the way. All right, man. So right now we are out in Mita Flores. I'm staying in Barranco. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it looks it looks like it's cracking. It looks pretty lit. Show y'all the view. Show y'all the views. So when I first stepped out to Mita Flores, I'm not gonna lie, it looked pretty lit. But as I walked around and I went to other parts of the area, it was definitely a lot of younger people and then mostly gringos. There's also going to be a lot of people approaching you and they're going to be asking you questions like this. Hey, what are you looking for? This? Uh, no, no, no. If you didn't hear him, he's pretty much asking, am I looking for drugs or strip clubs or girls to go home with? And unfortunately for him, I was not looking for that today. Luckily, I hit up another solo traveler and he told me about an Afro-Latino party that was happening that night. It was about 20 minutes outside the city in an area called Brena, but you know I had to slide. And that's when things got interesting. <laughs>
How you doing? Good. What's your name and where you from? Latina. I'm from Peru. And what's your name? I'm from Peruvia. She she told me hold this. I'm like, man, what the? F Who would have thought that a pig would have made it to fucking Peru, man? Cause they don't never end <laughs> Fuck you have a party last three and a half motherfucking months Just got niggas in there hostage Just... <laughs> I wanna go home nigga This is... <laughs> 